Hey guys, Adam Retro Moments here and uh, I just made the craziest deal ever. I, I can't believe this is happening. Okay, so here is how it went. I was sitting around on Instagram and I noticed that a Swedish person was uploading some uh, pictures of uh, a few Neo Geo AES games, about five of them. He was looking to get some help with putting a value on them and so on. So uh, I wrote him and after talking a bit with him, he actually told me that no, 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 he, he doesn't have five games only, he has 56 AES games and a console and two sticks. And uh, he actually bought it from someone who had to sell it, sadly, all of it at once. So uh, he bought that and a few other things. And uh, he realized that that was a little bit too much, so he wanted to get away all the video game stuff as fast as he could. And uh, there was also some SNES and uh, Mega Drive stuff, but uh, you know, I kept my eyes on the Neo Geo and I asked him, you know, what do you want for it? And he said, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm gonna look up the value on eBay and so on. And uh, if you want to, you can come and just look at it. So uh, I went to his house, I took a look at it and we were talking and we, uh, we decided on a price that we were both happy with. And uh, now he just drew all the games to me so uh, I just got them here now in the two boxes two giant boxes so uh, just to, to to let you guys know this is absolutely insane Oof. okay so uh, let's take a look at this starting with uh, the console of course and uh, yeah it's an AES you've probably seen this before by now if you've been uh, watching my other videos but it's in g really good shape it has a great serial number with the, the best RGB output, so really happy to see that. And then of course, the arcade sticks, original AAS, pretty good condition. And the second one looks just as great, just a little dusty, but that's all because it haven't been in use for quite some time. And uh, also RGB cable. And uh, an extension cord for the controls or arcade sticks. Also something that I didn't have yet. The SNK memory card so you can save your progress and stats. And uh, what is cool about this is that you could, uh, back in the day, you could actually swap this between your home console and in the arcade. So you could uh, go to the arcade, start playing, save your progress, take it home and uh, put it into your console and continue, which uh, was pretty cool at the time, you know. All right, and now what you've been waiting for, all the games. So uh, this is gonna take some time, so just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. First, we're starting off with a classic. Samurai Spirits 2 or Samurai Showdown 2. Um, a lot of people consider this the best fighting game for the Neo Geo, or at least the best fighting game in the series. Um, I do I do like it, but uh, I, I recently played number three and I actually thought it was a little bit better But maybe because I have no nostalgia for uh, any particular Samurai Showdown It's just something that I've been trying back in the days, you know, a few ports like I think I was playing uh, Something on the Saturn or the PlayStation. I just can't remember but uh, yeah really cool to uh, To see this in a great shape, you know Next game, we have uh, Sengoku, the first Sengoku. I, I should also say that pretty much all the games are complete. I think there is one or two in here that are not complete, but we'll get to that later. Sengoku, a beat em up game made by SNK. And uh, my opinions about this, I'm not really sure. I, uh, I, I kind of like it, but uh, I prefer Sengoku 2 and uh, even 3, even though 3 has uh, has some issue with uh, being a little too repetitive. But uh, pretty cool games. If you're, if you're into beat-em-ups, you should definitely check it out. And uh, there's actually a Super Famicom port of this too. That you can check out if you're uh, more into Super Famicom. And then we have a cool piece here. King of Fighters 01, 2001. And... Uh, as you can see down here, it's the 
US or European version of the Neo Geo. Otherwise the logo is round with you know two smileys in them. That's the Japanese version. So uh, here's the US version. So uh, yeah, I'm stoked to have one of the later games in English, you know. However, I know that uh, this is not one of the best uh, King of Fighters game just because uh, SNK got bankrupt around this time. So uh, there was a company called Bressa Soft that uh, continued making the KOF series. So uh, this is not a fan favorite to say at least, but uh, still a good game in my opinion. And then we got the first game in a cardboard box and uh, it's King of the Monsters. I'm not super into this game. I thought it was a little stiff. However, King of Monsters 2 is a much better game if you uh, if you decide that you want to try try one of these. And uh, yeah, a lot of people consider this an arcade classic. I played this and I played number two and I thought the num number two was uh, much better. Had more variety in the stages and uh, the control is a little bit better. But uh, yeah, this is definitely a cool box. Next game we have the King of Fighters 94. This is the one that started it all. For those of you who don't know this game, it's basically all the characters from SNK coming together to form like a super game, you know. I used to have only 98 because it's considered the best one out of the bunch, the most uh, the most balanced one. But I'm, I'm stoked to check out more of the King of Fighters games. That's already five games. I guess I have to speed up a little bit, otherwise this video is gonna be really long. Next game, we have uh, Galaxy Fight, which is uh, actually made by Sunsoft, a fighting game for the Neo Geo. So uh, as you can tell by the name, you're fighting in the big universe with characters who can fly and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's a game that I haven't tried yet, but uh, definitely looking to try out. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun trying all these uh, Neo Geo games that I haven't tried before later. Next game we have uh, Ragai, or in US or in Europe, called uh, Blue's Journey. A platform game, just like uh, any standard platform game basically. And uh, the thing with this game is that you can uh, shrink your character to get into smaller places and the likes. So far I've only seen when uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd plays this with Mike. Uh, so I'm looking forward to trying this one out myself. And uh, the first shooter that we got in this box. Aso The Last Guardian, Aso 2. And uh, yeah, looking at this box it's absolutely beautiful. I love the simplistic silver cover, you know, with just the logo straight printed in the middle. And uh, yeah, this is another another game that I haven't tried yet, but definitely looking forward to. And uh, I know that this is co-op, so uh, I'll try to get someone to try it out with me later. Next game, Crossed Swords. Uh, kind of a first person, first person arcade game, I don't know, first person hack and slash arcade game. Another one that I haven't tried out, but a lot of people say that it's pretty fun, so uh, yeah, cool to have this. The next game is Fighters History Dynamite. And uh, yeah, what can I say about this game? It's very similar to uh, Street Fighter 2. Um, with the characters and uh, the stages and uh, pretty much the sprite artwork. I played this once and uh, I thought about Street Fighter immediately. So I would, I would consider it the Street Fighter clone, but it's also a really good one. The next game is uh, Fatal Fury 3, Road to the Final Victory. And uh, this is a game that pretty much started the Real Bout series. Uh, very similar gameplay to that one, the second series in the Fatal Fury franchise. Definitely a good fighting game, even though I would say that uh, Real Bout 1, 2 and Special are much better. And the next game, Area Fighters 2 or uh, Sonic Wings 2 in Japan. Here's another US or European release. I don't know how to tell the difference between them, they, they look very similar. Sometimes the US games has a different stamp up here with a US logo called Bigger, Better, Better. 
but uh, some of the games were released like this too, so uh, I don't know how to tell them apart, but I know that it's English and uh, that's the most important part. And uh, what can I say about this game? Absolutely fantastic, very fast, fluid shooter for two players. Definitely the arcade experience that you want in a game like this. And here is a very good game that I was definitely looking forward to get. The Last Blade 2. And uh, wow, th this game, I, I was absolutely flo floored trying it the first time. Absolutely amazing, beautiful fighting game. And I would say that this game has some of the most beautiful pixel art out of uh, all the Neo Geo games. This and Garo, Mark of the Wolves. Absolutely stunning graphics, holds up great today in my opinion if you like pixel art. Another shoot 'em up, we're talking about Ghost Pilots. Pretty much the first shooter for the AES, I believe, the home version of the console. I've played this too, and uh, I thought it was a little bit slow, but other than that, pretty cool. And uh, I also have to say with these earlier Neo Geo games, the graphics are, are not as good as the later releases. Just take that into consideration. It's definitely a game worth playing at least once. And here's the first double for me. Baseball Stars 2. If you want to know what I think about this game, you can actually click the link up here in the corner. Because I made a video of this and some other games that I picked up before, if you haven't seen that. Uh, fantastic game. I played this with a friend of mine, Marty, that you have maybe seen in another video. Definitely one of the best sports games for, uh, for the Neo Geo. Next up, King of Fighters 95. And uh, yeah, gotta say I love the... The, um, the cover art of this, very simple with the black and the flames. This is pretty good, I used to have it, I sold it and uh, I kind of regret that actually, so <laughs> glad to have it again. Next game, World Heroes 2 Jet, so uh, this is the third in the series and uh, this is a pretty cool fighting game with uh, fighters from all over the world. There's a competition mode and a regular arcade mode, pretty fun fighting game. Very simplistic and easy to uh, get into. And another double for me, Ninja Commando. And yeah, if you want to know what I think about this, also go to the other video. Nice to see the some doubles in here so I can uh, sell a few of these games and get some money back. Another sports title, Super Sidekicks 2. This is actually a game that I've been wanting for a while since it's one of the cheaper ones and uh, also a really good soccer game, so uh, if you're looking to buy a cheap Neo Geo game that uh, there's not a fighting game, you know, then uh, try to look for this. Here's another classic, Samurai Spirits, the first one in the series, which is uh, definitely good, but uh, the second one, you know, they upped all the details, so uh, this one is very similar to the second one, but the second one has more details in the gameplay and the graphics. And the next game is Super Baseball 2020. This is uh, set in the future, or it's supposed to at least. And yeah, it's, it's pretty similar to Baseball Stars 2, but uh, set in the future. Another double, King of Fighters 98. A classic. Definitely a game that you should play if you're, uh, if you're into fighting games. So let's see, two games left in the first box. Now we have Samurai Spirits 3, or uh, Samurai Showdown 3, Japanese release. Yeah, pretty cool cover art. As I said, I, I actually really liked this one. It's a little bit darker than the other Samurai Spirits, but uh, I thought it fit pretty good actually. And then we have a platform game, Cyberlip, which looks pretty cool. I played it once and I thought that the controls were a little stiff, but maybe that has something to do with it being pretty early for the Neo Geo. Uh, and also you couldn't shoot in all directions, you could just shoot up or straight forward. That's a little bit of a shame since, uh, since you have the full spectrum in the Contra, you know, with the shooting range. Uh, but other than that, it seems pretty cool and I'll definitely give it a chance again. So, uh, let's go to the next box. And then we have uh, Fatal Fury 2, 
which uh, is a game that I don't think a lot of people are playing nowadays because uh, they made Fatal Fury Special shortly after this that uh, upped the gameplay and uh, added a few more characters and stages otherwise it's pretty much the same game you know very good condition and then we have Fatal Fury Special here's the one that I was talking about so uh, a lot of people consider this one of the better fighting games for the series. It was pretty huge in the arcades, so uh, I totally get that. Another cardboard box, and uh, Nam 1975, which is a game that I only had a cartridge, however, so uh, nice to have it complete. And this is also the uncensored version. They had uh, some troubles with uh, the, the woman here showing her legs, you know, and breasts, so they had to cover that up because uh, yeah, they got some problems with releasing this in certain countries, so uh, they actually had a guy sitting at SNK and uh, painting on the covers. Pretty crazy. And the next game is uh, something very special. Sengoku 3, which is a pretty uncommon game. Uh, I would almost say rare. Yeah, condition is pretty good and uh, I've been checking the game on... Uh, several sites out there and uh, it seems to be legit so uh, definitely happy to have this in the collection this is, a, this is a game that i thought that i would never own so uh, yeah uh, definitely satisfied and uh, love the cover art of this very cool and here is king of the monsters 2 i was talking about it before when i picked up uh, king of monsters 1 in the beginning of this video so uh, yeah, this is definitely the one that you should get and uh, I was stoked to see this um, in pretty good condition and in the US or European version. I never thought I would collect the US versions of the Neo Geo games because they're much more expensive. And uh, I also liked the aesthetics of the Japanese ones but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna collect both of them from now on. And here is another game that I was thinking this can't be real that that would that would be too much and it is blazing star uh, one of the best shooters for uh, for the system and uh, I mean I, I could just feel by looking at the the cover art here that it's it, it like the details are not very apparent so uh, I uh, I pretty much noticed that this was a conversion uh, immediately and uh, yeah I've checked it now and it's definitely a conversion uh, but I mean I I'm still stoked to have it in the collection I I, I won't really bu be buying conversion cards but for this I mean I'm not gonna pay the price price of the original one so uh, I'm just happy to have this to play it in the original console it still looks pretty good for being a conversion another double for me Real Bout 2 and uh, this is actually my favorite Real Bout game. I prefer this over special um, because I, I prefer the stages and uh, I feel like it's a little bit faster um, than special. But I would say that special is a little easier to get into but uh, once you get the hang out of this uh, it's definitely a little bit more fun in my opinion. So yeah, awesome condition on this. Next game is a game that I don't know a lot about. It's Top Hunter, another platformer. And uh, yeah, looking at the screenshots of the back, it definitely looks like a cool game. Definitely one that I want to try out later. I would say that the, the graphics are actually really good. They look more like a platformer on the PS1 rather than, uh, than SNES or uh, any of the other earlier consoles. So. Uh, Definitely stoked to check this one out later. And another reel about the first one, which was the first that I played. And uh, I actually do quite enjoy this game. Like there are not a lot of stages or characters in this one, but uh, it still holds up really good. I, I, I love this game actually. It's, it's, I, I've had so much fun with this, playing it with, uh, with people. Definitely a game I should recommend and it's not that expensive if you uh, compare it to other Neo Geo games. And the next game is actually like this. K2 
King of Fighters 2000. Um, I'm not sure why they made the cover uh, sideways, but uh, I guess that's pretty cool, a little bit different. And uh, yeah, this is another King of Fighters game that I have to try out, so I don't know much about this one. But I've heard a lot of people praising it, so uh, I'm stoked to try this later. And I've also heard that uh, uh, the main character from Last Blade is in this, so that's, that's awesome. And then we have... The King of Fighters 97, which uh, is kind of unique. It doesn't have any music when you're fighting in this. And uh, I thought it was kind of weird first time playing it. I realize now that it uh, gives a unique feel to the game. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. But at the end, I prefer playing fighting games over some music in the background. Here's another interesting one, Thrash Rally. And uh, one of the few games that uh, was uh, missing the manual um, this is a game that I haven't tried yet but uh, I did play another rally game on the Neo Geo called Neo Drift Out uh, and that was really really good actually so uh, I'm looking forward to trying this one here's another game that I've been talking about before Riding Hero and uh, the second game to not include manual I'm not sure how to feel about this game it wasn't really something that I enjoyed um, but I guess that the people that have nostalgia for it will uh, still like it. But uh, yeah, nothing for me. The graphics could have been better in this in my opinion. And the next game, we have Burning Fight. And this is definitely a US release. And how can you tell? If you look here, as I said earlier, it says bigger, better, better. It has a different mark there. And that's the, that's the logo for uh, the US released games. Yeah, it's a pretty cool logo. And that was their marketing plan, you know, to be bigger, better and better than everything else out there at the time. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty average beat em up game. Um, it's definitely one I have to check out later, but uh, I've seen mixed reviews about this. So uh, I'm not having my hopes up too much. And next up we have the first Last Blade, which is uh, actually almost as good as the second one. It's just that the second one added a few more details to the gameplay and uh, also upped the graphics a little bit, I would say. But uh, this one is uh, almost as beautiful and uh, definitely great gameplay. Weapon based fighting at its best, in my opinion. So uh, definitely one you should check out. And then we have King of Fighters 96, also another really cool cover in my opinion. And uh, also really good condition, which is always nice, especially with the Neo Geo titles. You know, the, the feeling of holding a Neo Geo game is very special and uh, I, I can't really explain more than that. The people that know, they know. Uh, but yeah, this is another King of Fighters title that uh, I've heard good things about, so uh, definitely going to check it out later. And then we have the first World Heroes game since my last pickup with the Neo Geo with the other Neo Geo package that I picked up. I tried this one out and uh, yeah, it wasn't really for me. I think that since there are so many fighting games on the Neo Geo, I uh, I think that you can you can skip this one. I think that there's a lot of other fighters on the system that are uh, that are more worth playing, you know. But uh, definitely a cool cover art and. Uh, for the fans of World Heroes, definitely need to have it, you know, in the collection. Uh, and the good thing is that the, the World Heroes games are still pretty affordable for the system. Here's another interesting title. League Bowling. So, uh, yeah, pretty much a bowling game for the Neo Geo. And uh, I did play this with Marty a month ago. And uh, it's very simplistic. It's definitely a game that you can play... Uh, play against other people, especially non-gamers, since uh, yeah, it's so easy to get into. And you can actually play up to four players on this if you pass the arcade stick or the controller. Another King of Fighters game, 99, which uh, I would say that from what I've seen so far, this looks to be the best looking game in the series, graphically. And uh, yeah. 
Love the aesthetics of the game. Cool front cover and nice spine. This is probably the King of Fighters game I would play after 98. And here we have another double. We are talking about Art of Fighting 2, which is one of the absolute cheapest games for the system. So uh, definitely a game you should have in your collection if you, uh, if you decide to pick a console up. Uh, you can get this for about 50 bucks, so uh, yeah, it's definitely worth that. It's a great fighting game, very fast and uh, huge sprites. Next game is uh, Top Players Golf. It's a game that I haven't played. And uh, yeah, poor this game, because everyone is talking about Neo Turf Masters. So uh, this doesn't get much uh, recognition at all. So I don't have uh, any high hopes trying it out, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll definitely try it out. I'll try all the games later. And then we have The Super Spy, which is a game that a lot of people don't really like. From what I've heard so far, it's, uh, it's uh, very simple and uh, kind of out of date, if you can say that. There's not much going on to this game, but it's a first-person shooter game. And your, your character will, will move uh, forward automatically. It's one of the earlier, you know, FPS games. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to trying this game. Just because, you know, it's, it's not a fighter on the Neo Geo and that says something already. And then we have the first... Fatal Fury game in the series, definitely a cool cover art, very simplistic but uh, powerful I would say. I have a hard time playing this game because of uh, the later Fatal Fury games, the real belt games and Mark of the Wolves, I, I just prefer playing those. But this was a good first try, you know, into what the Fatal Fury games became. And you can also play two player against the CPU in this one and that's uh, something that is pretty unique with it. Next game is a, a puzzle game, finally. The, the only puzzle game that was in this box, actually. And it's called Joy Joy Kid. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about this really, because I haven't really played it. But it looks like a typical puzzle game, you know, with like cute characters that are there to uh, support you when you're uh, trying to solve the puzzles. I don't play puzzle games that often, but uh, I'll definitely try this one out. And here we have the first Baseball Stars, called the Baseball Stars Professional. And uh, I haven't played this game yet, but I have to say that uh, it's a pretty cool cover art at least. I, I don't expect this to be better than Baseball Stars 2, obviously, but uh, definitely gonna give it a go. And the next game. Mutation Nation and uh, I've heard a lot of great things about this game. It's supposed to be uh, one of the better beat-em-ups for uh, the console. So uh, definitely looking forward to trying this out later with someone by my side. Uh, because uh, let's be honest, it's always more fun to play retro games with uh, people that you know. So uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to trying this. And then we have World Heroes 2. I was talking about this game, you know, in uh, my previous video with the Neo Geo pickups. But it's, it's an alright uh, fighting game franchise. What I can say about this game that is pretty unique, however, is uh, they have something called Death Mode. And when you're fighting your opponent, there's only one life bar at the top. So you just have to uh, kick the other person's butt uh, and make the life bar completely yours, you know. So uh, that was a pretty cool thing. Then we have another platformer. I guess you can call it a platformer. Eight Man. And from what I know, this was actually an anime in Japan. That was really popular at the time. So they made a game out of it. I don't know much more about it. So uh, definitely looking forward to trying this. Next game is uh, Ninja Combat. And uh, for the people that know this game, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you know exactly how it looks like. It's uh, 
It's kind of funny when you see the main character move around. He's like only moving his legs and uh, not the upper part of the body. So uh, it looks quite funny. And uh, unfortunately, the hit detection in this game is pretty bad. Oh, and I should also mention that it's a beat em up game. Other than that, it has some uh, variety, at least in the level design. I'm not sure if it's a game that I would recommend, but uh, I don't know. I tried it out before and I had a... I had some fun with it at least. And then we have of course the first art of fighting game. Pretty good but uh, the second one is much better in every way. But uh, I mean just seeing the huge sprites and uh, and to think that this is a game from 92 it's, uh, it's pretty amazing of what they accomplished. And I can't believe this is happening but it is. And uh, there's just one last game in here and it's a good one it's definitely a good one real bout special i know i said i prefer uh, playing real bout 2 but uh, obviously i like real bout special a lot too i think it's it's one of my favorite fighting series on the near geo so uh, yeah i'm definitely excited to have this in the collection and uh, just looking at the cover art it's uh, it's awesome I can't believe this is happening. Uh, I never thought I would be sitting here with uh, with a wall of Neo Geo games behind me. Absolutely a huge thanks to uh, to the guy that sold it to me. He actually has his own company where he is selling uh, antique stuff and furnitures. Uh, and he actually has a store here in Sweden. So sometimes he goes to people's houses and uh, buy lots of things at once so uh, that's how he came across this Neo Geo collection I'm very thankful to him for letting me buy this and uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out his uh, Instagram so yeah this is pretty crazy never thought that something like this would happen I don't think I'll ever make a deal that is even close to this in the future but uh, who knows so if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber yet make sure to subscribe so uh, you're not missing my my future videos and let me know in the comments uh, what do you think about this pickup it's going to be a lot of fun to uh, hear what you all have to say about this because uh, this is uh, something that doesn't happen really so uh, yeah I'm, I'm definitely thankful for uh, for buying this collection see you guys the next time